everyone. Nice. Welcome back to At Home Author. And I'm super excited because today we're going to talk about all things social media for authors with a special guest. Without further ado, I will let her introduce herself. All right. I'm super excited to be here. I'm Kathleen Sweeney with Book Brush. I am the chief operating officer here, and I love talking to authors about all of the Book Brush things. So first off, I'm going to take a step backwards in case you aren't familiar with Book Brush and just say, what, what is Book Brush? So we entered the author space in 2018 as primarily a do-it-yourself platform for authors to create their own marketing graphics and some of those just simple images. Then we added all kinds of cool things. We keep growing. Um, we hit 100,000 users last year, which was super exciting. And along the way, we've had authors in the help desk and places say, can you just do it for me? And so while the do-it-yourself platform is not going anywhere, we've added some services. And that's what I'm excited to talk about today, the social media management full service option. So you can write and we can promote. Oh, that's so nice because... Honestly, there are only so many hours in the day, and sometimes just because you can learn to do something by yourself doesn't mean you necessarily want to or are excited about, and I know that's true for me. I, I have a love-hate relationship with social media, and uh, yeah, and not everybody enjoys enjoys working on it. You know, and I think social media is a necessary evil. You need to have it, but um, are you going to tackle it yourself? Do you want to hire somebody? Um, the things that we'll talk about today that we do for full service are things that you can mirror yourself if you want to tackle it too. Um, we just want to help authors and wherever they're at in their writing journey <laughs> make their pages shine. So I'm going to share my screen here and we'll jump in and talk about the services. All right, so we'll focus today on our social media management that is full service. And I wanna talk about why we feel like it's super important to have a full service social media manager. Why would you choose this? So we have six main points and reasons, and I'll talk about what we bring to the table. And then if you're in the do-it-yourself mindset, some tips and tricks there too. So first off, we are here to stay on top of the trends for you. Trends are trends because they work. That's what's um, getting people more traction in the industry. Trends are a moving target. And so I think that's a lot for authors to take on. Turns out what they wanted to do was write books. Now it's like, what? I've got to learn all of this stuff over here. And so you can study up those things. You can learn hashtag strategy. You can figure out the optimal times of data posts. Um, and those are doable, but you can also hire somebody who likes to nerd out about hashtags, wants to do those kind of things. So find the people who like those things, you know, put that on their plate. Find somebody that wants to clean your house, find somebody that can do these things so you can write books. So when we handle your social media management at Book Brush, we are staying top on top of all those kinds of trends, the types of images to post, the time of day, types of hashtags, number of hashtags, one of the things we do in our hashtag strategy is try to niche down to some of those medium-sized hashtags that people are intentionally following. Now, if you're going to tackle this on your own, a tip that we have is look at some of the top authors in your genre. What are they doing? What hashtags are they using? And you can mirror some of those best practices, and hopefully those things will work for you. Second thing, consistency. So not that anybody is on the edge of their seat saying, did Vicki Weber post yet today? But um, as it goes along and you're posting consistently, people expect to see those things from you. It can foster brand loyalty. Depending on your genre, it could feel like a warm hug. So when we do um, the meta plan, which is Facebook and Instagram, we post six days a week. And that consistency really helps build things up. Um, most authors that I talked to that sign up for a, our full service said, I just dread it and it falls to the bottom of my task list and then they don't get it done. And so we don't want you stressing about that, but we can bring that consistency to the table. On our video plan, we do um, 15 posts a month. So it turns out most of the time it's every other day, unless we find some of the metrics show that your audience is really there on these other certain days and it may be several days in a row, but that's what we can monitor in the background. So post consistently. If you're gonna tackle this yourself, set some goals to post consistently. 
Now, I noticed that you're talking about, you know, why you want to use social media and how a social media manager, you know, can help you with all of those things. But I noticed that none of these six points here say anything about ROI or sales or something like that. I would love to know why that's not on there. <laughs> That this is a super good question. So what you're doing with your social media is playing the long game. So having this presence is it's positioning you when people look you up on social media. So everybody is a detective these days. And when they look you up, what do they find? Do they find a really well-branded presence that they can dig into, look at different graphics, get excited, get um, interested in following you, and ultimately purchase your books? Or is there a picture of a cactus and one time you had a book sale and not much else? So we talk about this as indirect sales. How many sales did you miss? Because when people looked you up on social media, there wasn't much content there for them. And so I... Full disclosure, tell people, if your goal is to make back the money in direct sales by posting on social media, there are probably other things that could make you that money in direct sales more effectively, ads and things like that. But if your goal is a well-branded presence so that you know that everything is there when people look you up, that's what the social media is there for. Long term, over time, it can generate sales because People are finding you, following you, but it's not a quick fix. I don't want anybody to email the next week and say, I didn't go viral. I posted six times because it's really a long, long game. So the ROI is more um, looking at having that presence. It's not the actual dollars coming right back for the money that you put in in one particular month. So good question. Well, I love that mindset too, just because um, sometimes when we get so excited about our work, we just want it out there and we want the quick fixes and we just want to be in front of all the people right now. Um, but uh, yeah, you really need to think about it from your author career um, and that long-term presence, like you said, because this type of visibility makes it easier for people to find you. And so as you continue to grow, it will make it even easier um, to find you and things will eventually start to snowball as you grow in all facets. But marketing, my analogy for it is that each marketing strategy is like a piece of the puzzle. There isn't one puzzle piece or one wave the wand magical thing you can do um, to get sales, they all work together to support um, all of your marketing efforts in getting out there. And social media is a huge, huge piece of the public puzzle, but it's not the only one. Absolutely. You need all those things in place. You need a good proofreader. You need somebody to do this. You need still on the home front, somebody to clean your house or make sure your house is clean. All those things for satisfaction to bring it for this happy work-life balance and knowing that your social media is humming along. So when down the road, somebody looks at you up or you put out that new release, they can look back and see the other books you have, all of those kinds of things. So we talked about consistency and sometimes people say, but does that feel spammy six days a week? But here's the thing. We'll talk about content creation. What our goal is, is to create an experience on the page. So it is not a call to action every day that says, buy my book. There are other types of posts, engagement posts, asking your readers, let's say you write um, romance set in Alaska. You can ask people what things about Alaska they like, those types of engagement. Maybe you drink coffee a lot and you can ask them how they take their coffee. So engagement posts are good. Um, of course, the algorithms like those kinds of things. Um, if you have books with barn quilts, quilts in the background with quotes about reading can be sprinkled in there too. We also do a mixture of static graphics and real. So those reels are another thing that really help keep things fresh and entertaining. You know, motion catches the reader's eye. So for our side of content creation, when you are outsourcing and having us do full service, it's typically five static images per week plus one professionally crafted reel. And everything is specific to you and your author brand and your books and your genre. So nothing's cookie cutter. It's not like everybody here that we do this for gets the exact same image on Tuesday. Um, everything is pertaining to you. 
your biggest time commitment at first is to meet with your project manager so they can learn about you. They want to know about you. They don't have time to read the books, but they are going to soak up everything else they can so that everything that is on your page is about you and on brand for you. And then we can just take the wheel. So we will have access on the admin side of things on social media to keep the posting going and free up your time. So what I want to do is show some examples before we go to the other three things. How about we look at some of the content? Because I think that's really kind of cool. All right. So first, we're going to talk about um, the Instagram and Facebook plan. That's the meta plan. And if you do that plan, whatever we post on Wednesday on Facebook will also be on Instagram. And full disclosure, if we are handling your social media, there's a spot that you can say, it's okay to share my work as an example. So this is an author who said that. We will not spill your beans if you don't want us to. But this is a page that is feel good fantasy and mysteries with magic. So I'll just do a little scroll here. And what you'll see is there's nothing beachy, no pink and purple flowers. Everything really pertains to people who would want to read books and ingest content that is feel good, mysteries and magic and fantasy. On our full service plan, we tend to focus on one book per month so that it really creates that experience on the page. And again, you have full ownership of everything we create. So if you like some of those images, you can pull those out and use them in your newsletter and other places on social media. So this gives you a nice look of a lot of the static graphics. I'm going to pop into the reels because these are really cool. So when we talk about reels, these are not just a sales pitch. They're like a mini book trailer. And so they really draw people in um, and definitely add some interest to your page. I'll do another one for you because they're all different and I love them. When I can just feel it in my heart when the music changes. I love that one. All right. So that takes a look at Facebook and Instagram. We also, because authors tend to tell us where we need to go, have a full service plan that's just video. So I'm going to give you an example of that too. So this is author um, Jesse Gooseman. She just started this plan here in May of 2024. So she's new to this. But this one gives you a mixture of interviews and cinematic shorts. So I'll give you some examples of those here. He wouldn't wish losing a ranch on anyone. Having to sell his spread had been the second hardest thing he'd ever done. Having to give up full-time access to his children had been the first. It felt like they'd taken part of him with them when they'd ridden away with their mother, her boyfriend driving the car. With everything in him, he had wanted to go after her, take his kids out of the back of the car and keep them next to him. But the law was the law and the judge had ruled against him. Rightly so, since he had no house and at the time, no job. So with those kind of examples for the cinematic shorts, um, this author used her actual narrator, but you can use a cool AI voice or we have the option for the author to do the reading and send that in. And then we add uh, music and the background and make it into a really cool option. And then we also conduct professional interviews and clip those. So I'll give you an example of that as well. <laughs> we'll just acknowledge that we have a third guest on the podcast. Nina, your dog is joining us as well. <laughs> so if you guys see a fuzzy ear, that's who you're seeing. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't brag on my dog a little bit. She just won first place in her obedience class. We took basic obedience 
and we won first place. So I was like, you know, Nina, you really need to brush up on your obedience skills and show everyone that you're the first place winner here. So I'm so we'll pause that. But this is a way for um, you to really look like a person to people and authentic on TikTok. You know, TikTok in particular really needs that um, author person in there. And so we give you the tools to make that happen. All right, back to reasons why to hire a social media manager. We'll talk about audience engagement. So this is super important to make sure that you are engaging with your audience. So when there are comments, you need to comment back and help create that chatter and keep it going. Um, you know, the algorithms, when they see something that had a lot of comments, it's going to move it up in the world. And so those kind of things help. If you're tackling this on your own, just make sure that you are answering as many comments and hearting them, liking them, and making that authentic interaction on your page. If we're doing that for you, that's what we bring to the table. So we will answer. We will create chatter. We will make it seem authentic. If you use a lot of emojis, we will use a lot of emojis. If you are an old soul, we will answer it that way. There's also another little trick here, and we do this for you, and you can do this on your own. Because of the hashtag strategy, your posts and things may, and hopefully will, get in front of people who are not following you, but follow certain hashtags. When they like that post, you as the owner of the page have the option then to go invite them to like your page. And it's a great idea because They've already liked one piece of content that had to do with you. They may very well be interested in more. So that's a nice tip behind the scenes. We will do that for you as your social media manager, but it's something that you can do um, if you're managing your own author um, page on social media as well. And then data analysis. So we are looking at behind the scenes, all the different things in the meta suite. We compile a report that will give you a look at your increase in followers reach and engagement, and some other nifty things like which posts did the best and what's the top city um, that in the last month. I had one author who said, who knew that Quebec was where her readers were, you know, she had the most interaction. And um, gender too. So I had one author who's reporting, he said, I knew my books appealed to females more, but it was 97%. So that helps him know future wise, um, definitely appeal to the female readers there. And all of this is really put in place to give you an effective presence on social media. You want to appear on social media as the author that you are and the author that you wish to be. So make your social media match that, whether you tackle it on your own or it's something that makes sense for you to outsource elsewhere so that that presence is there. That is very important. All right. So we talk about reasons this is for you if you are interested in the social media plans, the time savings. So this is so important. Building a brand requires time. If you have the time to put in, that is great. If you do not have the time or it's just not your thing, that's something that we bring to the table. So it's going to save you time you didn't have or time you were doing um, other things. You can go back to writing. And then the book brush team. So when you hire book brush, you have a dedicated project manager plus several folks working underneath. So somebody who's great at caption writing, somebody who's great at the reels. All of those things come together like a little layer cake to make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. I've heard of other people who hired some single VA. The person was ill and they didn't have any posts and it's a bummer. So here we have all of these things in place so that it's uninterrupted for you. And the video content, super cool. Those reels are probably just a little bit outside of what a lot of folks can create on their own, but we can do those for you and keep things looking fresh and cool on your page. Okay. The fourth one is this is a long game. So your success really depends on your investing long-term time in this. It doesn't happen overnight. So the consistency that you're putting in and the hashtag strategy, all of this is tailored here for people who are willing to invest time. It doesn't have to be your own personal time. It can be our hours, but the length of time. So we do a six month contract on social media management to make sure we have time to try things, gain traction, and keep doing the things that we're working. And then we talk about social proof and indirect sales. So, and I mentioned it a little bit before, but social proof is when people look you up, what do they find? It's saying that 
people like to read your books, that you are the author you are. All of that is established um, by having the social media presence. Everybody's a detective. And so when they look you up, what do you want them to find? This whole presence. So we want to make sure that you are not missing out on indirect sales because there's not much on your social media. And full disclosure, I will also tell you reasons you should not do this with us. So we want you in the boat for the right reasons, but we do talk about this. Again, the direct sales do not come immediately from just posting consistently on social media. So if direct sales, lickety split, are your top priority, there are probably other things that you can do to make that happen. And secondly, if you are a super big control freak, this might not make you happy either. So we um, definitely partner with you to learn what you like and learn what you expect in your brand. But then we want some creative freedom. And also, if you had an extra four hours a week to oversee this process, you could probably just do it. So we want to take it off your plate and um, make it happen for you. So let's talk about the two plans we offer. Um, currently, this is uh, price is effective as of May 2024. We have the meta plan, which I talked about is Facebook and Instagram, and the video plan, TikTok and YouTube shorts. So <clears throat> meta, the $5.97 a month will give you posting six days per week, and that's a mixture of static graphics and one reel per week. We have the engagement that we handle for you hashtag management, caption writing, we'll compile a monthly report, and then you can do a strategy call here um, with our team if you want to monthly as well. On the video side of things, it's a little bit different type of material. All video, that is $7.97 a month, and we are going to be creating content to post on TikTok and on YouTube, and it's 15 reels created and posted per month. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more, you can book a free call with me. It's a free consultation where we look at your social media, talk about who's been doing what so far. Maybe it's you, maybe you had somebody else that's been helping out and how our plans would work for you. Free call to book with me and then we can go from there. So um, we would love to chat about your social media. This has been super helpful, but I would love to know if you could only give one piece of advice to somebody on social media, what would it be? What is your go-to top tip? I really go for consistency because you could have the best post ever, but if it was your only post, um, people, it you know, things flash by. And so if you're posting consistently, that's really important because... And then I, I need to put two things in here because the hashtags are really important too. So posting consistently, but with no hashtags could be um, a bit futile. So you want to partner consistent posting with as much hashtag knowledge as you can. But again, you could look at a, a successful author in your genre and mirror some of the, their hashtags. So that doesn't have to be super daunting as far as digging into the hashtags. So maybe can we have two top tips, <laughs> hashtags and consistent posting? Definitely. <laughs> Well, and I think one of the important things to keep in mind, too, is that um, if you're doing marketing right, like I said, the puzzle pieces will all fall together. So having a really strong social media presence, an important piece of that is understanding your brand. If you don't understand your brand, then your audience isn't going to understand your brand. So as you are writing... Think about those things. What do you want to be known for? What do you write? Who is your audience? Uh, because that will help you reach them. And then if you do choose to outsource some support like this, uh, you don't want to to go try to hire a social media um, manager and then ask, great, who is your audience? And you say, people. <laughs> yeah, readers. Readers. Okay, what do we do with that? You know, you really want to, not just for your social media, for your whole presence, have a strong idea of who you want to reach, why you want to reach them, how you're going to reach them, um, because that's going to impact every part of your marketing plan, and it's going to impact your writing uh, and your whole overall author career. So, you know, you've got to think those things through, and if you don't know how to do it, um, you know, either start learning or look at the resources around you. I know Book Brush has a fantastic blog with tons of 
uh, tips and resources that you can learn more about. Uh, the at-home author blog is chock full of them too, as well as the rest of our YouTube channel. So if you don't know, go learn or go find the help because I promise you it is out there. Thank you so much for being with us, Kathleen. Um, any final words before we take off? Um, you know, just one way or the other, get yourself out on social media. We would love to partner with you, but just that presence, even if you tackle it yourself, it, you'll pay off in the long run. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks. And then check the description box below for how to get in contact with Book Brush or uh, check out any of the other helpful resources that they have over there. Thanks for watching and see you next time.